something that the parent class does not have any link with the child classes parent class does not have any concern with the child classes or in other words parent class doesn't care what the child classes do here you are also able to set the name of the student what you need to do just create a object of this class here I'm gonna create an object student and here is the S1 is the student name and here is the student and here is the semicolon and now here you can use the set name function that is in the parent class and here I'm gonna use that function to set the name of the student here I'm gonna give it Ali and here is the semicolon and then here I'm gonna print out using the s1 dot get name function now here is now here is a little error what is this s is capital and here is get name and here we need to place the princesses and let's run it so here you see that input is printed at this side because I have adjusted, adjusted all the columns so now here you see that the name of the student is printed on the screen that is Ali here I have give the name of the student that is store into this s1 object but when we run this file here I'm gonna run it and it print the name of the employee that is Fahad here you can see that it also contain the Fahad what is going on right now when we give the argument to this set name function then it take this argument to this function here then what happens all this data is inherited into this student class and into the employee class now this string variable is part uh, is also the part of the student class and the employee class so now we can give the different values to the name variables because there are two variants of the name variables one is for the student and second one is for the employee so now I hope you understand and now another thing how these functions work you can here I'm gonna write a print statement sys out and here I'm gonna write uh, start student so now I'm gonna run this function with the help of the student object s1 dot start study so now let's execute it and here it's print on the screen start study and you can also put this here here I'm gonna add something different personal info its age and now let's run this function s1 dot here is personal info and let's run it and here you see that age is printed here another thing is when we call the start study function so this function is also present in the employee class so why this function not execute because the student class and the employee class does not have any link so if we create the same function in both classes this thing does not create any problem because both classes have not any link and now I'm gonna here put some different text here is sys out here is employee start and let's call this function here is e1 dot and here is start study so now let's execute it and here you see that this is the name of the employee and employee start is executed so now employee calling 
its own functions and the student call student class call its own function both have the different variants of the functions both have the separate memory for the variables and the functions these two classes are not linked to each other these two classes are only linked to the person class and person class does not have any concern while the both classes have the same functions or not so now i hope you understand if you have any problems so kindly add the discussion i will help you as much as i can